Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make an interactive loader in Godot 4 and we can press start here and then it's currently loading there you go and then you can press continue and the scene will be loaded so let's get to how that works okay here we have our title screen and our loading screen with nothing in there and then our test scene so this is what I'm loading it's fairly complex not much there a lot of high uh, 1k and 2k textures some of them anyways I got some huge rocks over here but they're just scaled up one of these so let's get to loading screen you can uh, create a new script on here Loading screen script, that's fine. First you create the the scene that we want to load. So that would be the test scene here. It's just a string and I exported it just in case. And on ready, let's get the progress bar. So the animation player is automated. So it just starts playing, moving the uh, rectangle up and down. It's automatically doing that. So we're not really doing anything with anything there. And we have the button we're gonna call a function on. So we need a array. So we're gonna call this progress and it's only gonna have one thing inside of it. You'll see what I do with that next. And the status, zero means there's nothing loaded. And I think three means it's loaded, you'll see. Okay, so on the unready function, we call resource loader. We tell it to load thread request and we tell it to load the scene. In uh, Godot 3.0, I think it was load interactive and it was a lot more complicated. You had to manage the threads and everything yourself. Okay, in process, uh, now you say scene load status, resource loader, load threaded get status. Then you pass the scene and that array that we passed to it. So that array will be changed to the progress of this load. Then you can Tell the progress bar to get the progress at at zero, so that will be returned between zero and one. So I times it by a hundred because the value can go up to a hundred here. Now I check if the seed load status is equal to thread load loaded. Now we can tell the button to be visible, and that's pretty much it. Then finally we connect a uh, a button function to the button press function. Uh, button press signal I mean and then we I do a check again just to, you know foolproof the code let's check if it's loaded again then if it is we say get tree change scene to resource get look get tread look get tree change scene to resource loader load treaded get scene and then remember to free this the current loaded uh, loading screen and uh, then I check if it isn't then just say see not loaded or in progress and that should be it save now we can go back here and run that ah, didn't end it you can say load mm. And then press continue, and here we go. We're in my scene. You like those volumetric clouds? It's all good out for it, baby. I mean, volumetric uh, fog. <laughs> I said clouds. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I might just leave the code in the description of this video. Guys, pretty short. All right, guys. Like and subscribe. Take care.